our YouTube. We got that thing set off in there. Everything worked out pretty smooth. Got the mounts welded. We'll just tack onto the front for now. Headers fit nice. I gotta uh, do a little massaging right here in this area. You know, right by that uh, little control arm. And right here on this little part where it's on the transmission. But fits pretty good. Other than that, Gotta finish building the cross member. Gotta be held up by the jack now. But overall, man, went in pretty easy. Everything's clear. On this side, uh, got another room to mount the AC compressor. That don't like it's gonna be a problem. Gotta get this uh, bracket moved back a half inch. To line up with the rest of the accessories like I said before but that's about it we got enough room back there for everything <clears throat> so everything looking good about to start working on the wiring harness it's already pretty much together just finishing it up and you know getting the wires all to one location in the car where I'm gonna mount the PCM um, Start getting these in the fender zone. Getting the fender zone, getting the core support and stuff all in here. Uh, all that should be done this week. Next week is gonna go to, uh, you know, getting the gas tank and the exhaust and all that stuff in if my uh, mufflers make it. Or the throws from Jig, still ain't, about a month ago, still ain't got them yet. Call and check on those tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Got that baby sitting off in there. Headers slide right in. So that ain't gonna be an issue. Gotta get those wrapped before I put them back in. And, uh, you know, just work on these other little odds and ends. So I can get this thing running. After I get that tightened up, pulling the control arms off, Getting those painted the same color as the car, getting rid of the red, and just, you know, taking it step by step till I get this thing finished up. Back, got the engine in, got the headers on, got rid of those uh, little ignition ports or whatever. Had to do a little chopping, a little welding, a little bending to get these headers on here, but they on that nice. After getting burnt a few times doing the welding and all that good stuff, but we got it on there. Um, I'm gonna end up wrapping them black. Um, got the starter down there. It fit good. I can pull it in and out with the headers in, so um, that's what's up. Got a few of the accessories on. Water pump, uh, power steering pump. Went and bought a new uh, power steering hose from a. Uh, uh, 2002 Camaro with LS1 fits pretty good in the uh, in here. Had to bend this over a little bit because uh, at first it was kind of it was too close to the pulley for me. You know it's not on there yet, but so what I did is you know why I had it in there. I just bent it over a little bit. Give me more clearance, I ain't gotta worry about it working as well, but once I get it tightened down and all that. Um, intake not on yet. Well, it's on, but it's not bolted down. Painted it up. Uh, water pump, nice silver. Got the mounts in there. Got it welded to the uh, frame. I was gonna weld a little plate Make a little plate here to where I can bolt the plate to the frame, but I don't care. So I just welded the tabs to the frame. Got the motor bolted in. Sitting real nice. Not too far away from the firewall. But, uh, who oh no, knows? Close enough. It's where I don't mess up my firewall. Hit it a couple times, uh, getting the motor in. Just touched that over the little black. 
if nobody ever noticed. Uh, got the core support on. New bushings all the way through. Uh, lunar radiator. Got the fans uh, mounted to the radiator. Fans gonna get painted. But uh, went and had little tabs welded on to the uh, radiator to mount the fans directly to it. I like that. Um, what else have I did? That's pretty much it. Oh, I sent my uh the truck uh AC compressor bracket to my homeboy. He welding it. It gotta be moved back a half inch. So the truck AC compressor so lines. That's up. all getting done. Then I have that stuff bolted up. Start running my uh AC lines and all that. There's a dipstick too tall. Made for the truck. They gotta come up out of there. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down to about right here and uh, cut this little section here off. Weld that back to that because this is wider here than it is there to fit this little section. So cut that, chop it, weld it back together. Then I'm gonna have to uh, cut the dipstick as well. So I'm gonna have to measure that, cut and that, and get that precise. I'll have that done by the next video. The brakes looking nice. Sitting back there, I gotta run my uh, brake lines. I gotta get some of those little copper, brass, whatever they are. The little, uh, the seals, the banjo fitting, whatever it's called. Gotta get some of those. Um, Tank going in soon. A little fuel line getting ran soon. Then. Master cylinder in of a 2000 and, uh, 2000, S10 right hand drive. Got my wheel wood proportion of valve because you know I did the rear disc brakes all the way around. I mean the Corvette disc brakes all the way around. As you can see, I got them on the back too. If y'all ain't been watching my uh videos from the beginning, but yeah, that's what we did. Um handed up my pop, not my power steering, but my windshield wiper uh motor and pump. Painted that up, got it looking nice and neat. Got all that up in there, nice and smooth, and painted up with the uh, chassis black. Not the chassis black, but it's a uh, Roborn chassis paint. So, you know, got that all looking nice and neat. Intake finna get cleaned up and painted. Um, That's pretty much it, y'all, for right now. Had to pull the dash back out. Oh, got my little, uh, got my little AC unit mounted under the dash. Went to the junkyard and found me some of this uh, this duck. Paid about two bucks for it. They was trying to charge me like 50 bucks for six feet online. I got about 20, 30 feet of that for two bucks. So, you know, that was what's up. Got my little AC unit in. Get to running my lines and all that pretty soon. Y'all stay tuned, man. Bell boy been in here doing a little bit of work. Starting to come together. But uh, I'm gonna say y'all stay tuned for more.